You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on AtheistRepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for atheist voices all around the globe. I'm not a very brave person. Um, I generally prefer the safest, less risky ways. But since I've heard all the people here who are more vulnerable than me talking and sharing their stories, they gave me so much courage to share my story too. I'm a 20 years old um, girl from Algeria. Um, I'm a college student, an Arabic major. Um, so um, I left religion about two years ago. Of course, um, I was so sad, devastated that what I dedicated my life for was just a big lie. Um, I was so depressed and I just committed suicide, but I'm still alive. Um, But yeah, I'm living a double life, wearing um, the hijab, fasting. Mainly I'm doing this for my family, you know, my family and friends. Um, sometimes I feel like a people pleaser, but I don't want to lose them. I truly don't. I love them so much, and it hurts that I can't be me, and they just can't love me for who I am. For now, um, for now I have a plan. Um, uh, hopefully, I'll be um, financially dependent very soon, and. Maybe I'll manage to escape so I can live the life I want. But for now, um, I'm trying to enjoy the moment since I'm fully aware that I have one chance to live one life and I better make myself happy. Um, um, I'm trying to enjoy music, books, art, um, and whatever life has given me. Um, and I'm trying to be optimistic as much as I can. Um, and of course, the ex Muslim community is very much helping. So thanks for the work you're doing. And for everyone else, keep it up. You'll be able to live one day, not just free. Just work for it. And yeah, thank you. Bye. Hi. And I'm a guy from Bangladesh, and I've been an uh, atheist for past two years, uh, since I was 15. And I feel insane that how people believe in faith like that with no reason and logic. And I understand how they are like manipulated by those heads of religious committee and it is and I, as i am from bangladesh uh, it is very unsafe for me to tell my identity so i keep it many in my secret i feel alone so but things from atheist republic like it really helps me and i hope like i have a family i love them but i don't believe in their faith and so i don't want to leave them but i also don't want to live in a li- life of lie. I want to be free. And in here, I if anyone knows that, uh, I might be uh, bullied and might have severe consequences. I hope that this voice would send motivation that on other countries that you are not alone. And you will, you will have a lot of guys similar with that idea. These people have no logical integration. They just believe on what they have been given. Uh, thank you. Hello. Hope to be fine and healthy. Dear Atheist Republic, I'm an Afghan artist since four or five years ago. I have activated on social media uh, sometime by my fake name and sometime by my original name. I have posted a lot on Facebook. I have contacted uh, contact uh, with uh, uh, 
American artist, um, Australian artist, and I have a uh, confirmation from them. Uh, me and my wife are, are now in dangerous. My wife is also an uh, artist because uh, after taking over Taliban in Afghanistan, uh, we have faced the problem a lot. Somebody know about us, which we are artists. Uh, it could be very dangerous for me, very, very dangerous for me. Dealing or postpone in time will cost in my life. Please help or support us or advise me. Please pay attention. Thank you so much. So uh, I'm really very excited to talk about like the uh, to the Atheist Republic podcast. Uh, I'm from India. I'm I'm 23 years old. Uh, I really like the amount of uh, freedom and expression that you have in this website and creativity to like criticize and mock the religion. I really appreciate it. And also like uh, it creates a platform for all the United Atheists. I was uh, really, um, uh, what do you call, I was like Islamic jihadist before, like not a, 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 like I used to sympathize with them and uh, I used to be one, like, uh, but I didn't do any act like one, but I used to um, really sympathize with them. But now I'm like a proper like atheist. I don't believe in anything. Um, I My goal in life is to just, have a better life, quality of life, improve my quality of life. That's it. Nothing else. That's my only goal. Um, and uh, I think like we have to eradicate all religious extremism in general. If people are practicing religion, it's, if, the, if something is good happening in that, then it's fine. All the bad things in the religion should be reformed and uh, only good things and uh, which is helpful to the humanity that should be there and that should be made as um, the religion all religions must be reformed I don't think like there should be no religion I'm not anti-religion but I want to make like a new society where religion exists but according to the new rules no nine year old is getting married no like um, oppression on women no rights like the or everybody should be treated basis on their um, ability and uh, everybody could have equal opportunities and things like that but nobody should be treated according to their religion this is the um, message i want to give to the world and our ideas should spread nobody should take religion very seriously and harm themselves or do any crazy activities this should not be the Thing and um, more and more people uh, the message should reach and uh, personally I don't want to disclose myself because it could be threatening um, to my life and things like that so especially the you can see in the new world like the current scenario where um, the Hindu extremism is there the Muslim extremism is rising again there is a western um, white supremacist rising again so all these ideas should be eradicated from the world and people should just live in peace and just work hard and get whatever they want in life. That's it. There is no heaven and the earth. You have to create an heaven and the earth. That's all. So, oh uh, yeah, hope uh, it was a long thing, but uh, have a nice day. Please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to AtheistRepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. And please leave us a review.